so that leads to the fifth question let's discuss the role of stigma in men's mental health how does stigma affect men's willingness to seek help and what initiatives or awareness campaigns are helping reduce the stigma okay so uh, stigma uh, is the biggest factor that is affecting men's willingness to express or seek help for that matter. You no, know, I discussed one or two factors. The biggest one is the fear of judgment and it, that, you know, people will judge me. They'll think I'll be weak. So that is one factor. Then there is something called as shame and embarrassment. Men don't want to be embarrassed when they cry. You know, oh, the way they say, no, men don't cry. Uh, that's the biggest uh, stigma. And men think that if I cry, it will be an embarrassment, it will be a shame. So they hold any emotions inside. So that is another factor which, uh, you know, affects them or, you know, stops them not to express themselves because they don't want to be embarrassed. They don't want to feel the shame that, yes, if I cry, if I'm emotionally upset, it will look bad. Because of that... Uh, they are told to internalize their own uh, emotions. So keep it with you, keep it inside, don't show. Um, so the stigma re reinforces, you know, the idea of expressing yourself or being vulnerable. They're told to, in and the biggest thing is the fear of impact on relationship. See, <clears throat> there are a lot of families where men are the sole breadwinners or bread earners. There are a lot of families where men are the entrepreneurs who are supporting the family. So in that case, the biggest fear is if I'm vulnerable, if I show that I am emotionally uh, distressed, I have depression, I have anxiety, what will the people think? The people as in the family members. So they are dependent on me because I'm the breadwinner. Now, if I show myself vulnerable, I'll show as if I'm weak. And if I show I, that I'm weak, these guys will lose faith in me. They'll think they will stop depending on me. They will not love me. So all these are preconceived notions. You know, all these are stigmas that affect a man from expressing themselves. And what happens is when uh, it affects them, See, the point is mental health eventually affects your physical health. When you procrastinate, when you overthink, when you uh, are going through certain distress, it leads to physical uh, symptoms as well, like, you know, headache, fatigue, even digestive issues or even heart issues. Because all this adds to stress and stress leads to this all all these kinds of physical uh, issues and that way you eventually end up in contracting various uh, uh, diseases or various uh, various issues like diabetes heart problems everything and it's a circle once you get into that zone you are again stressed oh i have a diabetes i have heart problem and then again, it leads to the same thing. So again, this is another loop where you're stuck. So it's very important to address this the way it should be. So if you're in a stress, if there's anxiety, you need to talk, you need to evaluate why there is an anxiety. And all this will come when there are awareness programs so I understood that many countries are doing awareness programs. There is a lot of, I think, mental health professional organizing awareness programs in Canada. There are a lot of uh, awareness pro awareness programs happening in India. Corporates are doing it. Have a local call lines. I think you as a person with Book My Therapy is doing a lot of good job by you know helping people to connect with coaches. So similarly, there are a lot of... Uh, campaigns going on throughout the world to address this issue. There are a lot of uh, uh, exercises. Uh, there are a lot of small workshops which are happening in, even in corporates to understand men's mental health and you know get them out of it. Make them work on it. Uh, there are man-up campaigns. There are storytelling and narratives where you know people use storytelling to address the issues. People use storytelling to resonate with uh, their audience. 
they uh, connect with the audience, build a trust so that they are able to express themselves. So uh, there are mental health. Now, these days, there are mental health professionals in startups, in corporates, even in a uh, uh, lot of hospitals. So we are able to see that there is a change happening and the change is working in a positive way. All these kind of social initiatives will are definitely helping and will help you know men to address the mental health to to you know put off the stigma. Mm -hmm.